Hi everyone, my name is Paul Tilly and welcome to HN 2130 Recruitment and Selection. This course is about probably one of the greatest function of human resources and that is finding the right people who have the best possible fit for an organization, selecting those people and moving them into an organization in order to help make that organization successful. For this course, what we're going to be doing is looking at in detail, the recruitment process and the selection process, two basic components. So the very first thing what I wanted to show you was how is this course set up? Okay, so I'm going to go through what you need to consider in order to be successful in this course. First and foremost, this course will have a series of critical topics in it. These topics include the staffing function, legal compliance, information sources for staffing, reliability and validity of performance predictors, recruitment methods, processing and procedures. Okay. So first of what I'd like to do is take you through the, the basic skeleton of the course, okay? The skeleton of the course can be broken into two components. First, we're going to look at recruiting, and then we're going to look at selection. From a recruitment point of view, the subcomponents of that that we're going to be looking at is, is the staffing function. What is involved in order to determine who you need to fill a job? What are the skill requirements? What are the things that a person is going to need in order to be successful in that job? So that's the staffing function. Then we're going to be followed by a section on legal compliance. Wow, the, the legal environment that human resources work in over the last 30 years in particular, since the Charter of Rights and Freedoms has come into place, that legal envi environment has become that much more complicated. And it's important for human resource managers to have a good understanding of what the laws are, what they can and can't do, and what they should and shouldn't do in order to be able to ensure that the organization does everything according to the strict letter of the law. So we're going to look at those basic issues. Next. We're going to look at where are the sources of information? Where can you find the people that you want to hire? So what are the people? What are the skills? What are some of the sources of combining the right skills with the right people? Where can we get that information? Where can you be able to make that great assessment? Next, based on that information, we're going to ask how reliable is it? Is it good information? So we need to be able to critically evaluate the information we're looking at. Is it telling us what we want to hear, what we want to need? Is it telling us what we want to need? So the next section we're going to look at is reliability. Now, reliability is looking back. So it, <laughs> once we've got the legal compliance straight away, what do we need to be able to do next is to look at the various sources of information for getting data on what are the job requirements? What is it we exactly need? Let's let's look at that from a point of view of what are the skills, what are the various knowledge pieces that people need, the, the tasks that they do for this particular job. So let's look at information to see what it is. And part and parcel with the information is being able to assess or to critically evaluate how good that information is. So we move on next to the reliability and validity section where we ask ourselves, is the information we're looking at good? Is it reliable? Does it tell us what we need? And is it valid? Is it the really right measure? Okay. And then we're going to look at the actual methods of recruiting. What is it that is used in order to be able to get people into the door so that we can evaluate whether or not they're the type of people that we need working in our organization? So that's that first part of the course. The second part, of course, looks at the selection process. So we've got all resumes on our table now. How do we determine which ones we're going to look at harder? And how are we eventually going to determine who we're going to hire? So if we look at selection, we're looking at the basic screening process. What is it we do in order to narrow down the applicant pool into the best candidates, the best and most ideal candidates? And, and from a point of view of screening, we're going to look at testing measures, interview measures, um, all of the tools that are really used in order to make that selection decision. What are those tools and how good are they? How should we use them in order to make them as effective as possible? 
And finally, we're going to look at evaluation. How well did the tools that we used work? What are some of the assessment tools that we can use in order to figure out, is this a good way to do things? Okay. So that's the course in a nutshell. That's where we're going with this course. In terms of resources that you'll be using, the textbook uh, for this course is uh, Recruitment and Selection by Canto. And um, it is available online and it is widely available in hard form as well. So you can see the um, contact information and through the college's website, you can actually get that book. Probably one of the most important parts is how you're going to be evaluated on this course. So the evaluation process. Well, when we look at evaluation, there are generally two types of evaluation, assignments and exams. Okay. Looking at the assignments particularly, there are four assignments. And those assignments are worth 50% of the course. Okay. The first assignment is an, uh, an article review, and I have great detail in terms of what I'm looking for within the content of the course. Uh, the next one is going to be a job analysis, which is assessing what are the things, the important skills that you need in a job, and I have a great detail in the course on how to do that. Uh, the third assignment is looking at interviews. Uh, what are some good interview questions, types of interview questions, so you need to look at the, the honing your skills with developing those. So again, great detail within the course in terms of what that assignment is all about. And the fourth assignment is a case study. So what I want you to do is to take all the information that you've learned during the term and incorporate it into a case. And again, the details of that are within the course. There's a midterm exam and a final exam, and there will be information throughout as we move along in terms of what the exact nature of that midterm and final is. So stay tuned for that. Other thing I want to mention to you in this video, the schedule. Okay, I want to get you to look at the schedule events that we're going to do. Now we've got 15 weeks. One and two weeks are going to be set aside for one week for the midterm. One, there's a one week midterm block and a one week final block. So we really have 13 available weeks. And what I've done, if you look at the schedule, you'll see what you need to be doing at a given point in time. And I want you to kind of make sure that you take the initiative to actually stay on schedule because everything piles up if you don't stay on schedule. So make sure you take a look at the schedule and uh, follow it along as close as possible. I'll be adding these videos in as we go along, these little video app, video explainers. So keep an eye out for them. I'll be updating the course regularly in the news feed in the course. You'll find all kinds of information on them. Uh, maybe a daily or a bi-daily basis, I'll be putting things up. And of course, I'm available. I'm here. That's that's my job. I want you to contact me, call me, email me, through the course, whatever you want to do. Just get a hold of me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can and answer your questions, because that's my job. Okay, so again, thanks for taking the course. I'm really looking forward to it. See you later.